Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. How are all of you doing today? I sincerely hope that each and every one of you is doing exceptionally well and in good spirits. As for me, I am indeed doing quite well. Thank you for asking. The primary reason why I haven't been consistently uploading new videos to our channel on a regular basis recently is because on the first day of last June, our beloved family was blessed with a wonderful and joyous new addition, which has naturally taken up much of my time and attention. Please accept my sincerest apologies for that oversight or any inconvenience it may have caused. Now, with that brief interruption behind us, let us proceed directly to the primary subject at hand, which is of significant importance. The crucial notification that we need to address and understand thoroughly is as follows. It is absolutely imperative that you consistently use official channels and approved documentation for all related communications and procedures. So it is absolutely crucial that you dedicate your full attention and watch this entire video meticulously from its very beginning to its absolute end. Every single detail, every click and every instruction presented within this tutorial is vital for successfully resolving the issue you are facing. If for any reason whatsoever you happen to overlook or skip even one minor step, or if you fail to comprehend a particular instruction, then unfortunately, I will be completely unable to provide you with the necessary assistance to effectively solve the problem. This is because each step builds upon the previous one, forming a critical chain of actions that must be followed precisely. We have observed a significant trend where a large number of individuals are actively encouraging and even urging you to download this particular application. This app has gained considerable attention and many users are being directed towards it. However, the moment you proceed to open this software, almost instantaneously, you are confronted with a persistent and frustrating launch failed error message. This error prevents the application from starting up correctly and renders it unusable. Therefore, the immediate course of action we will undertake now is to carefully observe what happens as soon as we initiate the opening of this application. Specifically, we will be looking for a particular message or prompt that invariably appears right after the app is launched, which is crucial for our next steps in troubleshooting this persistent issue. The entire network has been completely disconnected, meaning that all active connections to the internet and any local area networks have been severed. When I refer to the entire network, I am specifically indicating that the system is no longer communicating with any external or internal network resources. To address this, you will need to carefully follow these instructions. First, locate the designated area on your screen and simply click on it. This initial click will serve as the starting point for our process. Following this, you will then proceed to navigate to the date and time settings. This involves moving your cursor to the appropriate menu or icon and selecting the date and time option. Once you have successfully reached the date and time section, there will be an additional crucial step that we need to undertake to complete the necessary adjustments or troubleshooting. This subsequent action is vital for ensuring the proper functioning of your system after the network disconnection. There is a task to do after that. After that particular point in time, we have yet another crucial and important step to meticulously carry out, which is to carefully consider From my current vantage point, I can clearly observe that the application, which is a crucial component of this process, consistently arrives on my mobile device during the nighttime hours. However, upon its arrival, it is invariably found in a disabled state, meaning it cannot be immediately accessed or utilized. As soon as I initiate the process of opening the front-facing camera application on my smartphone, an interesting and somewhat unexpected phenomenon occurs. The rear-facing camera application also simultaneously activates and opens. This synchronized behavior is a key aspect of the system we are examining. Now following these initial steps, I will proceed to open the IMO application once more, reiterating a previous action to ensure the continuity of the demonstration. It is absolutely essential to understand that for the entirety of this intricate process, you will not require any form of internet connectivity, such as Wi-Fi or mobile data, nor will you need any other external resources or prerequisites. The operation is designed to be entirely self-contained and independent of external network dependencies, making it highly accessible and convenient for users in various environments. Upon successfully activating the network connection on your mobile device, you will then observe a clear indication. Specifically, when the mobile device's Wi-Fi signal becomes available and is actively transmitting, you will distinctly perceive its presence. This means that once your phone has established a connection to a wireless network, the corresponding Wi-Fi icon or indicator will illuminate or appear on your screen, making it immediately apparent that the device is now connected and ready for internet access. This visual confirmation serves as a direct notification that your mobile's wireless capabilities are fully operational and engaged, allowing you to proceed with online activities. The moment the Wi-Fi signal is detected and displayed, it provides an unmistakable sign of connectivity, ensuring you are aware of its active status. I will show you how to make a call now. I will make a call from here. The incoming call has already appeared on my computer screen, so the important call is now present and visible right here. 
I have successfully received the important call. It was a crucial communication that I needed to attend to promptly. I have now successfully set up this particular screen. So as you can clearly see from this moment forward, I can effortlessly make various prank calls directly to mobile phones. If you proceed to the designated earnings sign, then you will be able to conveniently make these engaging prank calls from that specific location using your IMO account. I had previously disabled it before, so now how exactly do I enable it once again? Here, you can clearly observe that it is distinctly written China Apps. This specific label or designation is quite prominent and easily identifiable. Furthermore, it is highly probable that you might also discover this particular application or similar applications within the comprehensive and organized app manager section of your mobile phone, which typically lists all installed applications in a detailed manner, allowing for easy navigation and management of your device's software. So. It's already disabled here, which means it is not currently active or operational at this particular location. I sincerely hope that this comprehensive video has been incredibly helpful and beneficial to you in understanding the topic at hand. If it genuinely provides assistance and proves to be useful in any way, then I would be absolutely delighted and truly appreciate it if you could consider showing your support.